Hello friends, welcome to Input Out Food Campus. So today in this video, we'll discuss about Essential latest coding question. And this question is very, very important for Essential. And this is a sting type question. And this question is also important for other on-campus and off-campus coding test. And in any coding test, you will get at least one sting type coding question. So this question is also very, very important for your other examination also. Okay, so here is the question. Write a program to input string and display count of all permutations of string without using any built-in function. So you will be given a string like this ABC and the output will be 6. So how the output will be 6? So here is the string ABC and after permutation the output will be 6. So the permutations of ABC will be ABC, ACV and then VAC and then BCA and then C A V and C B A. So here you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So the number of permutation is 6. So our output is 6. Okay. So if you observe in our input string, all the characters are unique characters and there is no duplicate characters. So if all the characters are unique and there is no duplicate characters, then the permutation will be so this is a string a b c so the permutation of this string will be 3 factorial that is 6 if our input was like a b c d then the number of permutations will be 4 factorial and that will be 24 okay so suppose uh, there is duplicate characters suppose i e o i a and, and the permutations will be 3 factorial because there are 3 characters in this string. So 3 factorial divided by the duplicate elements. So how many duplicate elements present here? So here 2 duplicate elements are present. So divided by 2 factorial equals to 3. So if you are given an input like this A, B, V and C. So the number of permutations will be 4 factorial because there are four characters and divided by two factorial because there are two duplicate elements. Okay, so similarly for another input like A, B, C and V and then A. So what will be the number of permutations for this string? So for this string, you can see here, there are five characters and for that write here five factorial divided by, so there are two duplicates A and V. So how many times A is present into the string? Two times. So right here, two factorial into how many times B is present into the string? Two times. So right here, two factorial. So which is 30 and this will be the number of permutations. Okay. So hope you understand the question. Okay. So now we'll solve it. Okay. We'll solve this in some steps. So our first step will be, we'll take the string from the user. Okay, so take user input. Okay, our first step is take user input. We have to take the string from the user. After taking the input string from the user, we'll count the number of occurrence of each character into the string. Okay, so count the occurrence of each character and, and store them. Okay, so this will be our second step. And our third step will be, we will calculate the factorial of the length of the string. So suppose our string was ABC and its length is 3. So we will calculate the factorial of 3. Okay. So calculate factorial. So we will calculate the factorial. So after calculating the factorial, so we will write a for loop for counting the number of permutations. So how we will count this permutation? We have calculated the factorial of the string length. So suppose this is a result and we'll divide this by the factorial of occurrence of each character. So here you can see the occurrence in this i the occurrence of e is 2. So we'll divide this. So we'll divide this 3 factorial by 2 factorial. Okay. So when we will do this operation when the count of occurrence of each character is greater than 1. So only then we will do this operation and and using this for loop we will calculate the permutation of the string. Okay. We will uh, write the code using C++. So first 
All right, the basic format of the C++ so has include IO stream, okay, using namespace standard and then write the main function first. Okay, inside this main function, write an indice variable where we will store the result and then write a character array and the name of the array is suppose s and the length is 100. So take the inputs from the user. So for that, write here scene s. Now we will calculate the permutation using a function like the name of the function is suppose permutation. Okay, inside this, our argument will be s and we will store the return value into the result variable and finally we will output this result. So the main thing is that we can't use any STL that is any built-in function here. Okay, so we have to remember that. So before this main function, we'll write this function again in permutation and inside this, write this character type array character s okay insert this write an integer array to store the occurrence of each character into the screen so suppose integer count and the length of this is 26 because there are 26 alphabets so the length of this is 26 and initialize with 0 and we can calculate the length of the character type string using string length so right here str len and inside this write s okay so we will store this into a variable say length variable okay let's declare it here now we will calculate the occurrence of each character into the string using a for loop so write a for loop for i equals to zero and then i less than length this is the length of the string and then i plus plus okay insert this all right count and count of s of i minus a why minus a so if we subtract so suppose in our s of i a is present inside this position i so s of i will be a so a minus a so that will be zero so count of zero so in the position of count of zero will increase okay so we understand this. So suppose in the position i there is v. So suppose b is present inside this position i. s of i will be b. So b minus a. So v minus a will be 1. Okay. Into the count array in position 1 the count value will be increased by 1. So that's how we will check the occurrence of each character into the string and we will store it into the count array. So our next step is so our next step is calculate the factorial of the length of the string. Okay, so length of the string is len and we want to calculate the factorial. So before this permutation method, write here integer fact, we'll calculate here the factorial of length. So inside this right here, suppose n. Okay, okay, write here for loop and for int i equals to n minus 1 i greater than 1 and i minus minus so inside this we'll write n equals to n into i okay so this will calculate the factorial of a number and finally we'll return it so return this n from here we'll store the result into a variable suppose result variable okay so now our final step is calculate the permutations. So number of permutations. So now we'll do it using a for loop and inside this for loop we'll check if the count of i is greater than 1. That is if the occurrence of each character, if occurrence of any character is greater than 1, then we'll divide this result by the factorial of count of i. So write here for loop for i equals to 0 and i less than 26 and then i plus plus. Okay. Here we'll check a condition if count of count of i is greater than 1. If so, then we'll do operation like result y factorial of count of i 
okay and we'll store this into the result variable and after calculating this outside of this for loop we'll return this result so just return here so return res so return a result here okay we have not declared the result so let's declare it result and another variable like i okay we have done it okay so let's run it okay there is an error string length was not declared in this scope okay so we have to include this string here okay let's run it again uh, the array string length was not declared in this scope okay this is c++ so we have to write here c string okay so let's run it again it's compiled successfully so give your input like a b c so the output is 6 because the number of permutation is 6 so give some other input like we want to give a b c and v and then a okay so our output is 30 and this is perfect output so 5 factorial by 2 factorial into 2 factorial and that will be 30. So you can test this program by giving another inputs. Okay, hope you enjoyed this video and if you find this video helpful then please give it a like. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next video. Till then take care.